Ubud is the jungle in Thailand. <sighs> I just did my intro in slow motion. Bali, day three. I'm gonna have to repeat all of this now. What's on the agenda today? It's a chill out day, it's a pool day, it's a massage day, it's a sunset day. The massage, again, I am not gonna film. I don't even know if I can even show you this on YouTube. You have to put these like netting pants on and you <coughs> pretty much out, which is fun. Just complete relaxed day. And then I'm gonna end the day off. I know I do upbeat and fun stuff, but there's gonna be a sunset and I really wanna see it. Anyway, let's do a quick transition. How do I even transition this? I'll go like from here and then when I'm outside, it'll go like that. And then where I'll be outside. Do that, Brad. Do a transition or something like that, cool. Literally sitting here, like, what the f is my life? Man. This is outrageous. I will carve it in and I'll make you feel like you're on the cloud and you can't sit still when we're on the floor and I'm on the force and you use the force. There's no problem. I will carve it in and I'll make you feel like you're on the cloud and you can't sit still when we're on the floor and I'm on the force and you use the force. Can I order a yeah, drink? Yeah, yeah. Alright. Can I get a watermelon martini, please? Watermelon martini, yes. One money, yeah? Thank you. I'm so socially awkward. Mm. Oh, I don't even like it. And say goodbye to Solo. Really sad. There he is. This one. Hello, mate. You good? Yeah, you good? Yeah, man. I thought I'd come and say goodbye. Maybe next next day we can make chat, yeah. chatting. Yeah, I've got you a number anyway. Yeah. So, um, Tomorrow at 12 o'clock probably. Yep, yeah, I'm off. 12 o'clock, I go to Ubud. <laughs> so? <laughs> we can <laughs> Go on. We cannot make fun. No, I know. So, I mean, don't worry. <laughs> That's right. I'm going to go. I'm going to yeah. go down to the... So, okay. I'll see you later. Okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll get on camera. Okay. Love it. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> See you later. Okay. <laughs> See you, yeah? Yeah, man. In a bit. He's gone forever. Hopefully I see him soon. Walk in to go watch the sunset. There's black sand as well. Mate, what kind of cat is that? Look at the size of him. Another one. Go on, go on. Oh, yeah. Hey. Hey. Brad, take a picture. I can't send you it. I'm not going to send you it. <laughs> I'm getting harassed. Definitely going to get stabbed and my camera's taken. Mate, someone was hungry, by the way. Right, there's a trail there. I'm going to follow the trail. Where the f am I now? Right, I'm setting up here. I've just tried taking photos and I've now got this stuff on my ass. This literally just doesn't come off. What is going on? It doesn't come off. Right, note to self, don't sit down on the ground. Hello. I don't think you can even see me really, but I've just trekked so far along this beach and I am in the middle of nowhere. Um, I feel like someone's gonna rob me. I'll just show you quick. This is where I am. Um, I'm convinced this is some sort of ritual thing and I've just put my camera on it, so I'm very sorry um, if I offend anyone. I've got a time lapse going on behind me. I thought I'd come out here and just reflect, I guess, and do some deep thinking. It's crazy. Just out in Bali on my own. I've had an amazing time so far. I'm not one to do this sort of stuff, but it's so weird. I don't know if any of you have ever been the other side of the world on your own, not knowing absolutely anyone. It's completely outside of my comfort zone but doing this has made me feel like it's made me enjoy my own company. I keep looking around to see if 
anyways, I know someone's literally just like sitting in a bush watching me just talk, but there is a chicken over there. So I'm awful at public speaking. So this is the reason why I picked up a camera and just started talking to it. It made sense to me to do that, to then convey to an audience, just to talk to a camera and just gain some confidence. You read all these self-help books and I feel like none of them do it justice unless you actually do it. It's all well and good having the knowledge, but actually doing the physical thing speaks volumes and actually develops you as a person. So I know this channel is all fun and upbeat, but I thought I'd just put this little segment in just to um, just to say if you're, if, if you're ever in a position where you're not happy with yourself, just taking that first step towards bettering yourself makes a whole lot of difference, even, even the small things. If you're waking up and not making your bed in the morning, change that, wake up, make your bed. That's, that's, you're already better than you were yesterday. I was reading Stephen Bartlett's 33 Laws of Happiness and Business, and one of, them, one of the chapters on there talks about the power of a question. Not, I will get up and go to the gym in the morning, it's, will I go up and go to the gym in the morning? Because then you have a definitive answer, you have a yes or a no you choose that path. If you say no, you're not going to gym, are you? If you say yes, mentally and subconsciously, you're going to that gym. Regardless if you go in that gym and have a really <coughs> session, if you go in that gym and do a session and it's, <coughs> it's better than not doing it at all. So yeah, I thought I'd just put this little segment in there. I know it's, it, some people will probably think it's cringy, but this is my channel and this is my self-development. This is um, where I can post fun stuff, but at the same time, I suppose, convey to you how I'm feeling as well. Let's move on from all this soppiness and bull <coughs> and let's go continue this holiday and have some fun. What's next on the agenda? So we've done the chill, zen, isolated hotel where I can just be with myself and my thoughts. Next is Ubud. Uh, Ubud is the jungle in Thailand. <laughs> Next is Ubud, the jungle of Bali. I've got a jungle tour, I've got a hilltop and cultural tour, which I'm really excited for. And I've also got uh, the monkey temple and I've got one spare day. And I feel like I've done my chill bit. I've done all my sit round and do nothing. So I think number four, I wanna go white water rafting, but I've got to check my insurance covers me because if it doesn't, I'm, I'm, I'm Yeah, man. I suppose let's end this video here. Today's been a blast. What have we even done today? Pool, massage, chill, oh, re-energize. I slept in this morning and I got woken up by housekeeping knocking on my door. I slept for 11 hours. I, I was shattered. Jet lag caught me good. Yeah, let's end the video there. I'll see you tomorrow morning, the transfer to the next hotel. Bye. I am not the only one that heard that noise. I'm closing that door now.